This video is going to solve by elimination, again solving two equations for two variables, usually x and y. This is the intro, and here's example 1, uh, example 2, example 3, and we'll do example 4, 5, and 6. Okay, so let's start with, example, with, with the intro. First of all, we have one new concept which we'll explore with this. Two apples cost 100 cent, one dollar. One apple costs 50 cent. What we can do with these, we have two equations. What we can do with them is this. We can add them together. If I add these two equations together, two apples plus one apple gives three apples. 100 plus 50 gives 150. Now, the question is, is this equation true? We're told that two apples cost 100 cent, one apple costs 50 cent. Wouldn't you say that three apples cost 150 cent? So this is true. So we can add equations together and that's it. That's an okay thing to do. And that, that's a new concept. Let's have a look at these two equations. An apple plus a banana costs 120 cent. An apple minus a banana costs, leaves us with 20 cents. Is The value of an apple minus a banana is 20 cents. Let's add these two equations together and see what happens. One apple plus one apple, two apples. One banana minus one banana, zero bananas. So the bananas are eliminated. 120 plus 20, 140, okay? And now I have that two apples equal 140 cent. And luckily the bananas disappeared. So I can divide both sides by two and find that an apple costs 70 cent. And how would I find the cost of banana? Well, you could plug 70 in for apple, either here or here, and then you would find banana, okay? So let's plug it, plug it into the top equation, and we would have 70 plus B equals 120. So subtract 70 from both sides, and you have that a banana equals 50 cent. Okay, now check your equations. 70, apple 70 plus 50 is 120. This one works. And A minus B equals 20. So this would be 70 minus 50 equals 20. This one also works out, right? And so the concept of adding equations together, as you can see, work so that's the new concept the new concept is we can add equations together and we'll find another equation that is true and that sometimes helps us okay so it's a new this is the new trick the only new thing you're, you're going to learn this is the only new thing that you can add two equations together okay so if we have a look at example one Two apples plus three bananas cost 185 cent. An apple minus banana costs five cent. And we, our new trick is adding the equations together, and that makes everything happen. So let's add them together, and we get three apples plus two bananas cost 190 cent. Okay, now what's the next step? The next step is. Well, hold on a second. Sure, we. Does that help at all? Does that help in any way? In the last example, when we added the equations together, one banana minus one banana made no bananas. And we had two apples as 140, and that's how we could find the value of an apple. And once we had that, then we could find banana and we were done. Okay? In this case, nothing eliminated. Nothing disappeared. So adding these equations together didn't help us at all. So that trick didn't work. And really you would be thinking about solving by substitution. But there's one other thing we need to learn. So let's start again. The other thing we need to learn is that we should change one of these equations so that when we add them, one of the variables does eliminate. And we could we could either try and make the, the apples eliminate or the bananas eliminate. 
And because we have a positive banana here and a negative banana here, I would work on these. And I know that positive 3 and negative 3 make 0. Do you know that? That positive 3 plus negative 3 is equal to 0. Okay. So this is the genius thought that will help you figure out how the next step. Okay. If I had negative 3 bananas instead of just negative banana, then this and this would make 0. Right. That's the trick. So what do I multiply this equation by in order that I end up with negative 3 bananas? Well, and you might notice that you can multiply both sides of an equation by the same number and that's, that will make, that's a, will make a new equation that is true. So if I multiply both sides of this equation by 3, then this will end up being negative 3b, right? And so that's why I picked the number 3. 3a, three, 3 times a gives 3a, three, 3 times negative b, negative 3b, is equal to 3 times 5, 15, okay? So now, if I add this equation with this equation, the bananas will eliminate, okay? So, two apples, I'm going to add these together, so I'm going to ignore the middle one altogether, totally ignore the middle equation, and two apples plus three bana apples gives five apples. Three bananas minus three bananas, nothing, equals 185 plus 15, 200. And now you have an equation with only one unknown, and you can solve for that. So solve for A, divide by five, and A equals 40. And are you done? Is there anything more to do? We found A, but we also need to find the value of B, don't we? We have to find B. We need A and B, okay? So how do we find B? Well, just plug A into either this, the top equation or the next equation. So 2 times 40 plus 3B equals 185. So plug 40 in for A into the first equation. And we have 80 plus 3B equals 185. Subtract 80 from both sides, and we have 3b equals uh, 105, and divide both sides by 3, and we should have b equals, 3 into that goes, 335, right? So banana costs 35 cents, and you can check this. Um, so 335 is 105 plus 80 gives 185 and apple 40 minus 35 leaves us with 5 cent so check both equations and it works out okay So example 2, 2x plus 3y equals 6.5, x plus 3.5 equals 3y. Okay, we need to solve by elimination, not substitution, even though substitution looks easy, doesn't it? Just subtract 3.5 from both sides. But we need to, to learn this other skill also. We need both skills, okay? And all this homework needs to be done by elimination, th these particular questions, as directed. So... One thing, what could we do? If we add equations together, nothing will eliminate, right? You'll get 3x and 3y and 3.5. They're not like terms anyway. So if you add these together right now, nothing eliminates. But what we could do is, and you know that if you had, for example, a negative 2x here, instead of, a, instead of just x, that 2x and negative 2x would make 0, okay? So what you could do, how would you turn this x into negative 2x? Multiply it by what? Multiply it by negative 2, right? But I can't just multiply this by negative 2 and nothing else. I need to multiply the entire, both sides of the equation by negative 2, okay? Just on that note, multiplying equations, I mean, if you have an apple plus a banana, um, costs um, $1, say, and you multiply both sides by 3, then you will have 3 apples plus 3 bananas costs $3.
Now, does, does this red equation make sense? If an apple plus a banana costs one dollar, surely three apples plus three bananas would cost three dollars, right? So you should be able to see that we can indeed multiply both sides by the same thing, and if we do, we must multiply everything. Okay, you can't just say three apples plus a banana costs a dollar. That would be nonsense. If an apple plus a banana costs a dollar, three apples plus a banana costs a dollar, that wouldn't make sense, would it? Okay. So multiply it by negative two, and we get negative two x minus seven equals negative six y. And that is the biggest trick of all. Now, if I add these two equations together, the x's will eliminate. 2x and negative 2x make 0. So I'm adding these equations together. 3y and negative 7 makes just 3y minus 7. 6.5 and negative 6y is just 6.5 minus 6y. But at least I have an equation with only one variable missing, so I can find the value of y. So I, I, like to add, I would like to add 6y to both sides, I guess and get 9y minus 7 equals 6.5 add 7 to both sides and get 9y equals 13.5 and divide both sides by 9 and we should have y equals 1.5 right now we have the value of y are we done is that it do we need to find anything else need to find the value of x right we have y we also need x so we could plug 1.5 into the top equation or the bottom equation it wouldn't matter let's plug it into the bottom one for fun x plus 3.5 equals 3y and we're going to plug 1.5 in for y, so put it in like that, and now x plus 3.5 equals um, 4.5, subtract 3.5 from both sides, and we have that x equals 1, okay? So y is 1.5, x is 1, if you want to give that as an ordered pair, x, y, it would be 1, comma 1.5, and um, we should also check this solution in both equations. So we should go 2 times uh, 1 plus 3 times 1.5 should be equal to 6.5. So plug 1 in for x, plug 1.5 in for y, and that's 2. And 4.5 is 6.5, so that does work. And it should also work on the bottom equation. Um, so plug 1 in for x. 1 plus 3.5 should equal 3 times y, 1.5, and again, you know, 4.5 equals 4.5, that works out also, okay? So this example, take the first step, okay? Solving by elimination. If I add these equations together, if I add them together, um, Nothing is going to eliminate, is it? We'll have 7x plus 6y equals 14. That's not going to help. What you, when you add them together, what you want to happen is that one of the variables disappears. So what do you, should you work on? Well, you might see that this we've got 4y here and 2y here. See if you can work on the y's. What would you multiply one of these by so that when you add them, the y's go away. See the the 2y for example here, you could turn that into a negative 4y, right? Multiplied by what? Multiplied by negative 2, negative 2 times 2 be negative 4, right? So if I multiply and of course you can't just multiply this by negative 2, you must multiply the entire equation by negative 2. And if I do that, I'll get negative 8x and then negative 2 times 2 minus 4y equals negative 20. Okay. Now add the equations together. 
you're going to add the top one and the bottom one. 3x and negative 8x. Negative 5x. 4y and negative 4y. 0y. So 0, right? 4 and negative 20, negative 16. Okay. And now we have an equation with only x unknown and we can solve. So divide by negative 5. So this part is easy. And we have x equals negative over negative is positive. And is that um, 3.2, right? Sorry, not 3.5. 3.2. X 3.2, and are we done? Not done, because we also need Y, right? We need X and Y. So you can plug 3.2 into, let's say, this top equation, 3 times 3.2 plus 4Y equals 4. Okay, and we should have 9.6 plus 4Y equals 4. So just solve for Y. One point, uh, one over one point four. Is that right? Y is negative one point four. Okay, so we can check that obviously in both equations. We can go three times x plus four times y should be equal to four. So three times three point two plus four times negative one point four should equal that. Put that in your calculator. And also in the bottom equation, four times x plus two times y should equal ten. So 4 times 3.2 plus 2 times negative 1.4 should equal 10. And so that would be 12.8 um, and minus 2.8 is equal to 10. So we have 10 equals 10. That's true. And also this one, 9.6. And then 4 times that is negative um, 5.6. And that is equal to 4. Okay. So that's x, that's y, and as an ordered pair, of course, it would be 3.2 comma negative 1.4, okay? So solve this one by yourself. Take the first step. Solve by elimination, not substitution. So we can kind of see that um, elimination is actually a little bit less work. In the last example, we just took one step. We multiplied by negative 2, and all of a sudden the y's went away, and then we just had x. is 3.2 almost immediately. Okay, So it's actually a lot less work than substitution in certain cases. So solve this one by elimination. Any ideas? You should always work with, if, the, if, a variable, if there's a variable that's positive and negative, that's usually the easiest one to work on. So you should probably work on the y's. Okay. So this is 8y. How would you make negative 8y on this equation? How would you turn this negative 2y into negative 8y? Multiply it by 4, right? So that's probably the easiest thing to do here. There are different things you can do, but this is probably the easiest thing to do. And 4 times 3x gives 12x. 4 times negative 2y, negative 8y. 4 times 24 gives uh, 96. And now we can add these equations together. Okay. So if I add them together, 4x and 12x, 16x. 8y, negative 8y. 0 equals 0, 96, 96. So press pause in the video and solve and get the answer. Now I'll do it. So divide by 16 on both sides. And we get that x is um, 6. And so 4x, so 4 times 6, because we need to find y also. 4 times 6 plus 8y equals 0, so solve that. We have 24 plus 8y equals 0. So 
subtract 24 from both sides. Now we have 8y equals negative 24 and divide both sides by 8 and we have y equals negative 3. Okay, so if we check both of those, um, 4 times 6, 24 plus 8 times uh, negative 3, that would be 24 plus negative 24 and that is equal to 0. And then check the bottom equation, 3 times 6, 18 minus 2 times negative 3, and that would be plus 6 equals 24 and this is also true. Okay. So it works in both. Could we have taken a different step? Um, so we started with 4x plus 8y equals 0, and 3x minus 2y equals uh, 24. There's lots of different steps we could have taken. We could have divided everything in this equation by 2. You know, that would be fun if you divide everything by 2, or rather by 4, even better. Divide everything by 4, you would get... Um, x plus 2y equals 0, because 0 over 4 is 0. And now there's a positive 2y and a negative 2y. Now if you added these, you would have got 4x equals 24, and again x is 6, and so on. Okay? So there's lots of ways to solve it. There's lots of things we can do. There's not just one way. Um, another thing is we could have multiplied by negative 4 here and this would give um, negative 12x plus 8y equals uh, negative 96 and if, then if I multiply this one by a 3 across I get 12x uh, plus 24y equals 3 times 0 is 0 and now the 12x and the negative 12x make 0 Okay, and then I get um, 32y equals negative 96. And again, you know, y is negative 3, and everything works out again. Okay?